it's your boy Dan Codlin and we are on the way to Manchester to watch the KSI versus Logan Paul fight. And I'm gonna do that basic white gill vlog where I'm filming on the motorway and I just watch cars drive past. With the doctor a kitten, your flow's catted, my flow isn't. Roll to the reef. Take a break! Reef, what a mission. Order the taxi, everyone's sniffing. Barely step foot out the kitchen. Curtain twitching. Hop in the cab, tell the lads to put quids in. Feeling great, nothing great about Britain. So, guys, we didn't get much footage inside the arena as we weren't allowed the camcorder in. And also, my phone died. Coming up to the main two fights of the night. So I've got fights from, I think it was JMX onwards. Um, I'm going to put a couple of the clips in. I'm going to talk about the uh, J Swingler fight, the Deji fight, and the KSI fight. Um, sorry about the lack of footage. I really do apologise. So, yeah. Can I just say that Gibbo's walking was the best man, he's wearing Supreme again and to be fair he did fail taking his hood off, I'll, I'll say that at least, he, he was unlucky, Look, he got it on the second time taking his hood off, but now he's walking, he's, he's pumped up man, he's energy, he was, just the way he fights man, he was just, his walking was full of energy, the same as his fighting, um, to be fair I thought nothing less of Jay Swingler and he's walking. I was expecting Slow to uh, be sung to walk into the ring. I'd have been gutted if it wasn't Slow to And uh, yeah, he just looked quite comfortable to be fair. In, in the ring with his walk up, he looked really comfortable. Um, the fight, it went the distance and Gibb won on points, but it was a proper brawl and Jay done himself proud, I'll put it that way. Like he was really, he was game to fight and he turned up and he put on a show. Um, Deji versus Jake Paul. Ended in a fifth round stoppage as Deji's team threw in the towel, which I thought was a bit unfair on Deji's. Deji, he fought his heart out, so he won the hearts of everyone that night. He, he really put in a proper show for everyone. He busted Jake Paul's nose every single round until he, he had to uh, get stopped and they threw in the towel. Um, to be fair, he, I think he punched the humbleness into Jake Paul, man. Because Jake Paul's just done a video the other day um, saying basically that Deji, he respects Deji and everything now after the fight, which I, I thought nothing less because it was, it was all an act, let's face it, it was all an act. We all brought into a publicity stunt. They might have a little bit of hatred for each other, but they overstepped it with the hatred they was putting on to uh, sell tickets, which is fair enough, really. I'm not gonna lie, fair enough. It's what you gotta do. It's what professionals do at the end of the day. Um, but Deji put on a show for us all, and I take my hat off. Not literally, but I do take my hat off to him because he put up a decent fight. And I respect him for getting into the ring in the first place. Like, I respect anyone who does it. This was a great fight. And people who say this fight is rigged are fucking stupid. I don't even care. They are just retarded. It was the closest fight I've ever seen. Just because KSI won the later rounds, it doesn't mean he wins that fight outright. I think Logan Paul worked him in the first three rounds and he, he just kept him behind his jab and KSI couldn't do nothing about it for the first two, three rounds. So I'd, I'd give him the first three rounds, Logan Paul. And then KSI started to get himself into it after then. And he, to be fair, he could have knocked him out. I think it was the fifth round. He was out on his feet, Logan Paul was. He was, he was smashed up and... He was gassing, he called himself an athlete, and then he gassed out. 
does that make any sense? I don't think so mate. So yeah, I've got a, a little clip which I'll play down there. <laughs> oh my god, this is... <laughs> I'm joking, I ain't got no clips of this for you. I don't want to get done for copyright, so peace. <laughs> Malcolm, you're not a C, so you don't know the outcome. I think I need some talcum. Swoop in like a falcon, can't stand their lies, so I can't stand around them. I only trust my bros, I can count on. Most people when they need tampons. Pop out the whip, then it's hands on. Asking me where my 